Today we're talking about cards. Uh, not as much tricks though, I got a couple tricks to show you. Uh, this is a bet, betcha bar stunt kind of thing. And I'll show you how to apply that to a couple tricks you probably already do. Let's get started. Okay, so the stunt we're talking about is dropping cards into a hat. Not tossing them into a hat, but dropping them into the hat from like waist level. It's a challenge kind of stunt. You don't have to do it as a betcha, uh, but it does make a great bar bet or stunt. The uh, idea is that your spectator cannot hit the hat. They're dropping them, it's missing every time, and you hit it at will, one after the other. So we'll look at that, how to do it, and then we'll talk about a couple of ways that you can apply this concept to uh, some card magic. So let's take a look at the dropping the cards in the hat, or not. Take a look. Okay, so get your uh, cards and get your hat, or uh, maybe a shoebox, maybe a little big, but your, your, your target, your bullseye, put it on the ground. And then you'll challenge your spectator that they cannot drop cards from, say, waist high into the hat. Ooh, that's a close one. You'll find that, uh, that to be very true, there'll be a force field or some other invisible dome-like device preventing cards from going in, but the, the secret's simple. It's, it's not that. It's that they're holding it by the end, and it's going to rotate and flip-flop. If you hold the cards by the edges, like this, flat, and uh, when you drop them, they'll drop it once. They'll fall in a flat plane. So you can hit the you can hit the hat at least nine out of ten times. If I miss one, sometimes I can knock it in. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, whether or not you can drop cards into a hat is irrelevant. The uh, scientific principle we're going to use is that when you drop the card it remains flat when it falls. Uh, this allows for some disarming moments in magic tricks and we'll talk about a few ways you can do that. And again the important knowledge is that when they're dropped by the ends they fall flat. We'll be using the stool as my table and uh, just prevent me from going up and down to the floor as we discuss a couple of magic tricks. This would be a good one to use. It helps if the cards are, are signed for this first trick we're going to talk about. So we'll imply a sign selection going into the middle of the deck. Uh, you'll, pre you'll preface this as you see fit. Uh, I'm just going to wind it up to find the first one. Uh, I say the first one because that, that was your card. Can you step on it for me? Just put your your left foot or your right foot? Fine. I just, in my card, my favorite one, the Four of Diamonds, will come out of the deck. So, would you step on that one? I'll just wave it over your foot. So, here we go. Applying this to uh, create some distance, some casual handling. When you drop the card from a height, it flutters to the ground and your spectator should believe it to be exactly what you implied it to be. But you can show them that it's not. There's other ways that you can employ the same handling to a similar effect. This is, uh, we're doing it with Doc Daly's last trick. Most of you probably know this. If not, I'll just briefly demonstrate. Uh, you would use your foot if you were here but instead we're using the stool and uh, that's it. You get the idea. The, the reds and the blacks change places. You're using this to create casualness and uh, it also gives the distance to the effect. I'm sure there's a lot of places you can find to apply this casual handling even if you're just dropping it to the table from a couple of feet much less the floor. All right, well that's uh, a card stump, dropping cards into the hat, a couple card tricks. That was John, uh, John Scarney's transposition and uh, Doc Daly's last trick. 
right, well, there's some food for thought. I hope it uh, tastes good to your brain. <laughs> if you have any comments or suggestions for this or questions, I'd love to hear some suggestions, but questions are good too. Drop it in the comments section below. Uh, while you're down there, hit the like button. It makes YouTube happy. And uh, maybe subscribe. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.